Hi, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope all of you are doing good. So we are hearing about uh, keywords nowadays, a uh, lot of, uh, if any website or LinkedIn, if you open. So to learn more about those things, you can go to SAP website and read it and know. And I'm going to give you at a high level because uh, those functionalities are frequently getting changed and SAP is releasing or uh, twice in a year, new updates about the uh, new developments and the articles that keep on coming. Okay, so those things we can uh, get it to know about uh, what is um, public cloud, what is private cloud and what is on-premise. So I just wanted to give you a uh, thing like, so public cloud, Public cloud and next one, private cloud. This one we know since uh, PCC on premise. Okay. So these are the three words uh, you might be hearing a lot. So public cloud, private cloud, on premise. So these, these are the three things uh, which we most of the new companies or anyone is going. So how they are going for that. So according to high level understanding, the public cloud is mainly suitable for mid-level and uh, low-level companies or mid-level companies can go for public cloud. Even a few uh, mid-level companies also may not be suitable to go for public cloud because all the SAP is giving BTP, uh, BTP, okay. Uh, BTP with uh, S4, HANA functionalities anyway, and also AI, okay, artificial intelligence. Many things are coming in this area. But here, uh, you can't make it a lot of customization. So the customization, according to my current understanding, almost no customization. Whatever SAP is giving and pre-configured and a few things you can configure, like that only it is available, but you cannot make it uh, more changes from the solution because the public cloud is uh, kind of ready to use for example you you went to a shop and buy a chair okay it's kind of you, you buy a plastic chair or some kind of thing you cannot do anything take it and use it so it, it's like but it it is having uh, multiple industries uh, they analyzed and the solutions are prepared in that way so most of the companies will be getting uh, the standard solutions can be suitable for them without spending additional for developments and all that's a good thing and uh, the sap will take care about your licensing part and you don't have to maintain the server uh, it will have a security also will be good okay uh, but uh, you don't have a lot of flexibility to make changes and certain functionalities uh, which are not available you want to add it means you have to go for a customization so here we will not go for a customization and it is for the low level and mid level Maybe rarely few big companies also for specific business area, they may go for public cloud. Next, private cloud. This is looking like um, the whoever working for a big projects and uh, clients and all currently on on-premise in ECC. So they may go for private cloud because private cloud will give you the latest functionalities uh, related to the cloud things. And um, you have a flexibility to go for a customization. Okay, you can make new programs, you can change to the standard, like you will copy and make it your uh, business requirements. You have a, uh, all the combinations are available. There are a few functionalities in public cloud, which is uh, coming with uh, AI and all. All functionalities may not be available in private cloud. That's my understanding according to what I read it and all. So private cloud is suitable for any kind of a companies, low or mid level or uh, the large, companies okay anyone can go for private cloud and high security will be there all the sap is taking care about your uh, server everything you don't have to maintain a server and they will give you the dedicated uh, cloud related uh, licenses and the security everything will be good security wise it's uh, far better than public cloud so any kind of companies can go for private cloud we call like uh, rise with sap the word rise with sap is mostly using for private cloud and the, the word grow with SAP is mainly using for public cloud. I already I made that videos in our uh, YouTube channel. You can search and uh, check for the what exactly those words and all. 
coming to on premise on premise is the one uh, which we are currently whoever working in ecc everything is on premise there was no cloud everyone has to maintain the server the server room and uh, paying for the server charges and the licensing anyway how many logins you are using that licensing part anyway available so on premise is like our how current ecc is going on so according to my understanding on premise uh, maybe especially pharma companies uh, 90% of pharma companies will go for on premise i believe although private cloud is secure and sap is uh, giving a lot of assurance but i believe pharma companies which is the more critical compared to all and maybe there certain kind of a banking related companies also may go for on premise and the food industries specific food industries may prefer for on premise so yeah on premise is like currently you see how to keep a server and you have to maintain the server maintenance and the server room space uh, other activities daily server checks all those things need to be done in on premise so if you are uh, using this one uh, now i hope you got at a high level clarity what people are talking about public cloud private cloud on premise in sap we have a two clouds uh, public cloud and private cloud recently i read one article there may be a kind of hybrid public to private there may be one hybrid kind of a things also i read it maybe once i get more clarity and uh, i will definitely plan about that so i hope you got a clarity so overall solutions everything it looks similar but public cloud have certain functionalities are not available in private cloud and private cloud and on premise have uh, customization facilities and certain solutions are not given in public cloud because public cloud is mainly designed for the low and mid level companies right certain solutions uh, sap may not uh, spend time to keep it in public cloud which is not suitable for the low certain things okay that's what uh, the article where i read it uh, that is what my understanding so i hope you got about these three words which we are um, listening more nowadays and uh, definitely it's a continuous we are going to live with these three, three things in the next few years so whenever i feel any new updates or anything definitely i will plan a video and uh, to share all, all of you to share with all of you keep learning keep supporting me by subscribing our channel and by sharing our videos and uh, one person and maybe another support person we may share few videos but uh, we have 800 plus videos so every month 40000 to 45000 members are uh, watching our videos you just imagine that you all of you are sharing one video per month or few people five videos per month you just imagine what kind of impact you are going to generate your one share keep sharing and keep helping each other thank you